Hey, what's up guys? Kellen here again with Droid Life, just with a quick tip here on your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. And the tip has to do with where your SD card slot is and where your SIM slot is. So if, if you've owned an older phone, maybe two years and older, and haven't upgraded to anything in the last year and a half or so, you probably remember that you used to remove your battery and underneath your battery or just above your battery or something like that, you had a SIM slot and a micro SD slot. So with newer phones that have embedded batteries that can't be removed, they've had to move, manufacturers have had to move around the SIM slot. So a lot of times, especially with recent phones, we're seeing them up top. You'll, you'll also see them um, over in the side is where you access them. With, that, with the S7 and S7 Edge, your SIM and SD card slot are actually a dual slot and it is indeed located up top. So in order to access this uh, in the box that your S7 and S7 Edge came with, you have this little guy. And this is a little SIM tray tool. And so most phones now ship with these, um, but it does come with it. I don't know if you can buy new ones if you lose it. So try to hang on to this just in case. Uh, but essentially how this works is you have a little hole there and you poke this thing in there. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is I would turn your phone off before doing this, uh, but it's pretty easy. So you just slot this in, push a little bit. You don't have to push too hard and you can see that tray pops out. And once it's sort of lifted out, you can then slide it out from your phone. Okay, so uh, what I wanted to show you in particular here is you do have two slots here. You have one for your SIM. So this is where your nano SIM goes and the S7 and S7 Edge do take a nano SIM. And then this bigger area here is actually where a micro SD card goes. Now you don't have to use a micro SD card, uh, but the S7 and S7 Edge come with 32 gig of internal storage uh, and a lot's taken up by system. So you may want to toss in an SD card. You can go up to 200 gigabytes here and I will actually show you, I am using a 200 gigabyte SD card uh, from SanDisk. Uh, but you can use a 32, a 16, a 64, 128 gig, whatever you want. But you can go up to 200 and that's where that goes. Uh, so with the S7 and S7 Edge, I will say that this process of inserting SIM and SD and then into phone is one of the scarier I've encountered. Uh, why I say that is because when you pop your SIM in here in this little slide out tray and your SD card slot, they don't necessarily lock in all that tightly and actually are quite loose. And why that's scary is the last thing you want is to lose a SIM either inside the phone or have this tray get stuck and not be able to be pulled out. So when you're doing this, you're gonna wanna be really, really careful. So if you pop this into the tray, in, in most trays, this actually sort of locks into place, but you can see this, well, it's actually holding pretty good right now, but just the slightest touch and it pops right out. So uh, with your SIM, you do have a sort of goldish side, which is where the connectors inside your phone will touch. And then up top you have um, just some other information and probably who your SIM is from. This is a T-Mobile SIM. But so you want that gold side facing down and you, know, you can really only put this in about one way. So what you do is pop that in there. And then you take your SD card slot and your SD card slot can really only go in one way as well. You can see this little sort of cutout there and that matches up to the cutouts on the uh, actual card. So you put that in as well. Um, and again, these, these sort of just pop out really easily and fall out. There's no sort of snap in place here, which is, which is again a bit scary. So you're going to want to be really, really careful when you do this. So you want to get those in place, hold it upright and sort of start sliding this in. Now, with this phone, as I just mentioned, it's a little scary, and that's because I feel like there's a little extra sort of push needed to get these in, and that's where it gets scary in the fact that you think you might be losing your SIM or your SD card slot. So once you have those in properly and you start sliding, uh, just be careful that those don't come out um, at all of the tray as you're sliding it in. And then when you get to this point, it actually is a little tough to push it in all the way. So you do have to use some force. Don't be too scared there. And then you can kind of run your finger over just to make that thing flush in there. But when you get to that very edge part, you actually do have to push pretty hard to get it in. And again, that scares me as someone who uses phones often, but uh, in the two or three or four times I've done that already, it doesn't seem to be an issue. And I've been able to get my SIM and, uh, and micro SD tray back out. So again, you just pop that out this way, put those things in, slide them in, and then you can boot your phone back up. And there you go. So just a quick tip. Well, it wasn't the quickest, but there's a tip on how to get your SD card and SIM into your brand new Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. We've got more coming. We're Droid Life. Peace.